So once you guys have had a baby, getting the right nutrients in your body is extremely important, especially during the postpartum uh, phase of you having a baby, which is why I've pretty much switched from a prenatal multivitamin to a postnatal multivitamin. I'm currently taking the Ritual Essentials Women Postnatal Peel. Two pills. I love them. They smell extremely good, like a nice little mm, minty. Two pills, extremely easy, gives you 15 different essential things that your body needs after pregnancy. Done. Simple and easy. Ritual Essential Postnatal Pills contains so many important things that our body needs after having birth. It has good things like vitamin C, zinc, it's vegan friendly, gluten free, allergen free, and it has no sugar, none, none of that. So Ritual is not just for people who had had kids, it's for women, men, people over the age of 50, teenagers, anybody can pretty much use this pill. So right now Ritual is offering you an exclusive discount because of your girl. Give you guys 20% off your first month. This is just an easy way to create a very healthy foundation for you ladies who have just had a bun bun. Okay? So I need you guys to click the link down below. Click my link. Use my code. Get your 20% off your first month. Get a little love. I'm getting ready for bed, but I had to do this video because it was highly requested. Um, so I owed it to my new mommies or my expecting mommies um, to do this video for y'all, just so y'all can. I mean, you know, y'all just want to be my business. It's okay. You be my business. Period. Out my business. Thank you. But um. I'm about to reveal my one month postpartum body. I feel like it's going down really well. I'm also show you what my C-section scar is looking like. The um the progression of that that because that's been a progress. That's been a working process. It's just you know people who had C-sections, y'all understand. It's just a working process all the time. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually loving my, my, my new mommy body. A lot of people don't like their new mommy bodies, but mine's is, mine's is doing, doing me justice because I was actually, y'all know I had went through surgery right before I got pregnant and I was trying to get this hourglass look. I have a nice, I had a nice body, um. Nice butt, nice boobs. Um, I just had a little pudge. Um, and that was it. So I wanted that pudge to be like sucked, like snatched, like, you know what I'm saying? I wanted it to be like that. So I went and got surgery, and that doctor, he did his, he did, he did, he did good. He did. I, I was in love. And that's why I got pregnant, because Quick was in love. He was, he was in love. That's why I got pregnant. Cause he was in love with the new body. He was in love with the old body, but he was really in love with the new body. Like, nigga was in love. So, you know, we got the. So then, then. So, but <laughs> we offered that. I'm about to prepare my body. I, like I said, I love it. And a lot of people just wanted to see, you know, what the progression was, what it's looking like, what it's given. Um. But I've embraced it. Like, I've actually, you know, thought that I was just going to be depressed about it. But I've actually slimmed down smaller than what I was when I was pregnant. And I think that's because of the breast, me doing the breastfeeding and stuff. 
me breastfeeding has truly slimmed me down. So I'm like, I'm happy with my weight. I just want to get my um my stomach out like that. But like I said, this is one month. A lot of people look worse than me in one month, in three months. So my one month is looking like I've been had a baby for three or four months because I'm so slim. But I just want y'all to, you know, I'm taking y'all through my process. I'm keeping y'all updated because it's going to be going on two months on April 1st. I'll be two months postpartum. So I'm just keeping y'all updated on, you know, what I'm looking like, how my body is bouncing back, how it is being a new mom, and just kind of trying to keep y'all as in tune with this whole process as possible. And when I learn new things or when I go through things, I like to bring it to y'all and have a conversation about it so that people who are about to, who don't know, and they're about to go through probably some of the same things that I've been going through, then we can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about it. But, oh, shit, they should tell me about this. She said this, this, that before I even got here. So I like to be able to come to y'all. And that's why I like to keep y'all as involved as possible. So let's get into the reveal, though, baby. Let's get into the body. Yada, 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 yada. Let's get into the body. Yada, yada, yada. Right. Let me get into that. Okay, so. Okay, let's get into it. So this is my belly. I have a little bit more baby fat to get rid of. Like I said, this is one month. Um, I don't really have no back rows. Pretty much look like I never had a baby from the back. Um, but yeah, I don't have much more to go. Um. And like I said, I had a few. Let me this down. I have a few little like stretch marks here that I want to get rid of. Nothing bad. The side, a couple here, and a couple over here. So this is about to be gone. So I'll start working out next week to start slimming uh, my stomach on down. So I can get back fine for the summer. Um, but let me show you something. When I suck it in, that's how I know when it, when it, when it, when it, when it go down. Oh, baby, you won't even, let me show y'all. You said all the sucking game. Watch this. No stomach? Stomach. When I suck in, you can't tell. When I suck in, nothing. Yeah, actually, like I got a little pack. Oh, let me show y'all with the. Let me zoom in right here because this is where my C section scar is. I don't know if y'all can see it. There it is. That's what it's looking like. Um, this right here is just a little scab. I actually don't need to keep pulling it, but it's not too bad. Um, I've been putting shea butter on it uh whatever so but this is what it's giving it's right below my pants so like my pants go like that so you don't need to see it um that's what it's looking like uh, like i said i'm very satisfied with my postpartum body um a lot of people don't be happy with theirs but i'm actually i've actually embraced it i really have um and Anybody else who go through C-sections, don't be discouraged. I was very discouraged when I actually had my C-section. I actually cried. Um, I did not want no C-section. It was just like, it was a no for me. It was like, this baby finna stay in here. Cause you're not gonna cut me. <laughs> but um, once I got cut, um, I see my daughter. And, you know, I was able to cope with everything. I was fine. I was fine, and I'm, I've been fine, I'm just fine. Um, I real fine, like pretty fine. But um, but yeah, I think I think everything is uh, going how I planned. Like I said, I start workout next week, so I'll be able to get my body, yada, 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 get my body together um, how I want. Um, 
And yeah, I've been breastfeeding. So that's how I've lost all my weight. Let's see how much I weigh. I got my little scale. Let's see what it's giving. Okay. I'm about to take a pound off because I got the camera in my hand. Okay, come on. Let me see if I feel here. Yeah. All right. We just gonna say I'm 160. But I wanted to do this video because, like I said, it was highly requested. Um, I've been using shea butter on my scar to help it kind of the color and stuff come back. But other than that, that's all I've pretty much been doing. And if y'all have any suggestions on people who have had C-sections, if you guys have any suggestions on what I can do to, uh, you know, make the scar smaller um, or make it lighter, I don't know, whatever you guys recommend, let me know. Because I definitely be reading the comments. I definitely be taking advice from y'all on certain things. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, comment some more videos to be able to do. And I'm out. And embrace your mommy tattoos, which is your stretch marks. And embrace your mommy cut. Okay? Embrace that shit. Fuck what everybody else got to say. Embrace it. That's where your beautiful angel came from. Embrace that. Period.